I'm here with Craig Rodman, who just had a really good run finishing second in the SRL Southwest Tour at Stockton. Craig, you led quite a bit of the race. How hard was it to get by boat the first time? Even that, it was pretty easy. Um, we worked on that that part of the track all day, you know, to get, be able to have the drive off the bottom of the corner, and that's where I'd pass people at this track before. And uh, so it worked out well. Um, the only thing that didn't work out well for us was the lap traffic, you know, and that's just racing. Some days it's your day, today wasn't mine, you know, and it was great. So uh, I caught lap traffic in the wrong spot, and uh, he made the move and he got it, and I just was not able to get back by, I made a charge, but just ran out of laps there. Do you, you think you were faster than Boat? I was faster than him, I think. Um, I would say everywhere but turn two. That's where he was really strong. Uh, my car started getting loose at the end. I couldn't get the drive off the corner or off the two, and Greg had really good drive there, but he was a lot tighter in the corners. He had to, he couldn't get in the corners as deep as I could. So, you know, it was, yeah, I guess we were kind of equal at that point. I could catch him one end, he'd pull away from me the other, so it was kind of frustrating. When you were um, leading, Kinky was doing a little bit of love tapping on Boat, mm -hmm. and then when Boat got the, the lead, Kinky was doing a little tapping on you, and it seemed like he couldn't really get by, but he had a really fast car. Was yeah. it a one-groove truck, or what was it that um, the leaders were having such a hard time passing without utilizing lap traffic? Well, one thing about this track right now, we can repave it extremely fast, a lot of grip, so you are just flying around here. So you come up on people at a high rate of speed, and so you kind of got to be careful. You know, you're kind of uneasy, you know, because you don't know what they're going to do, and you're closing fast. And um, it, uh, it's kind of got that one groove that's really fast. And when you're, when you're with the fast, faster people, um, it makes it tough to get them to pass. I mean, me and Mike uh, Kanky talked about earlier today that it's going to probably be one of the harder, harder places to pass on because uh, the banking and that one super fast groove, you know. Now the next race for the SRL is Madeira. Any hopes of us seeing you there? Well, I'm hoping I'm going to have to just see what uh, goes on with Bob and the performance electrical people and see what we can do. I hope so. Well, we hope so, too. I mean, we learned a lot today, and uh, I, I, we're, we're on fire. I think we're going to have some for us the year. How are your twins? They're great. They're here tonight. So, they're six years old. They're great. I love them. Great. Congratulations on a fantastic run. We'll see you at Madeira. Yep. I wish, uh, the only thing I wish is Dave Reed could have been here tonight. I missed him a lot, and uh, he's always been with me in every race, and it's kind of weird to race without him. Thank you, Craig. Thanks.